Thank you very much. Pentella, how are we doing? Okay, then you fooled us. Shut up, you fooled us. You fooled us. Absolutely fooled us. I fooled Penn and Teller. Big time. Fooled and schooled by a tool. And I'm going to show you how I did it. The full act. The trick that fooled Penn and Teller. I'm going to reveal how it's done. Because this was never about my integrity as an artist. This has always been from day one about getting views and validation from random strangers on the internet. And if me revealing a silly little magic trick is going to get me them views, then let's do it. And I'm also sick of reading comments claiming they know how it works. How about you slow this down at quarter speed and see how that works? <laughs> Now, if you haven't seen the trick in question, I recommend you click the link in the description. But basically what happens is, you take a Rubik's Cube, it's got no stickers on, you put it in a bag, you take the sheet with stickers on, you give it a shake, all the stickers disappear, and they magically appear on the Rubik's Cube. It's a hell of a trick. It's a proper man blower. It'll blow your man real hard. But it's got to be good. When you go on Penn & Teller, you've got to be bringing the big guns. So I did bring the big guns, because if you really were magic, if you really did have magic powers, you wouldn't read people's minds. You wouldn't fly. You'd use your magic powers to quickly put stickers back on a children's toy, wouldn't you? Because they're the best magic tricks. Not the ones that make you go, how did you do that? But the ones that make you go, why did you do that? So, how does it work? What's going on? Is this kid taking the piss? All will be revealed. ASMR. Now, the trick itself can be broken down into two parts. Two phases. Or if you're religious, two testaments. The first part is making the stickers disappear. Shut that front door. The second part is putting the stickers on the queue. Shit the bed. Yeah, we're not filming that. Yeah, okay. And there's been a lot of comments theorizing about how I did it. You know, people saying I used two Rubik's cubes. If you watch it in slow motion, you'll see how it uses two cubes, the bastard. People saying I did something when I put the cube inside the bag. And way faster put a Rubik's cube inside a paper bag, you bastard. And there's even been talk of heat sensitive stickers. Maybe the stickers are even heat sensitive and were blacked down when the cube was cold. Rig it in the bag because it'd been long enough for the stickers to warm up and show the colour, you bastard. But you're all wrong. It's much simpler than that. To make the stickers disappear, you're going to use the oldest trick in the book and you're going to kick yourself when you hear this. You're going to go, bloody hell, how did I not think of that? You're going to turn your Wi-Fi off. See, because of the coronavirus pandemic and social distancing restrictions... Put a f***ing mask on, two metres! The latest series of Foolers was filmed using... Zoom. See what I did there? The act is projected on a big screen on the stage and Penn and Teller sit in front of a virtual audience like a scene out of The Matrix. Here goes some of my answers you will understand and some of them you will not. Have you pieced it together yet? Ready now, mate. Cheers, mate. So all you got to do is turn your Wi-Fi off just before you're about to do the trick and it looks like the video's buffering. Good, innit? Then when your internet's turned off, you're just going to peel the stickers off the sheet one by one and when you're ready, shout your mate to turn the internet back on. Ready now, mate. Cheers, mate. The video comes back on and you look like you've just performed a miracle. So this is what you didn't see on the full uncut version of the act. Just as the stickers are about to disappear, the internet cuts off. Everyone's scratching their heads wondering what's going on. You peel the stickers off, turn the internet back on, and bam, Bob's your uncle. Stickers have gone. The producers of the show have got no choice but to edit out the buffering part of the video and you look like an absolute wizard's sleeve. Now part two of the trick, putting the stickers back on the Rubik's Cube, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Your mate's now going to get underneath you, just out of view, under the camera. What happened to two metres? Shut your mouth. And where's your legs? All you need now is a paper bag with a hole in the bottom. You're going to feed the blank cube through the hole and make it look like you're just putting the cube in the bag. You pass your mate the blank one, and your mate passes you the one with the stickers on, and you're all set. In real time, the switch needs to be seamless. Oh, you dirty sod. Put this all together, and you've got a miracle on your hands. Harry Potter, eat your heart out. Too right, Harry Potter, eat your heart out. That's unreal.
And if after doing all this you still don't fool Penn and Teller, just pretend to not have a clue what Penn's on about when he explains the trick at the end. And we really liked it, and I think I probably uh, snuck in the double talk, something that you know what I'm talking to you about. Uh, are we close enough that you didn't fool us? Honestly, no, I haven't got a clue what any of that meant. Not a clue. Okay, then you fooled us. Shut up, you fooled us. <laughs> and there we have it. That's how I fooled Penn and Teller. Isn't it dead obvious once you know?